trying out the Disney Star Wars game for the mobile app. Now, I used to play Star Wars on Super Nintendo, and to see these graphics is just mind-blowing. I know with 4K TVs it's not that great, but growing up with Game Boy and Nintendo, and then even the PlayStation games and N64 games, this is just amazing. So, I wanted to pick the dark side just because of Stormtroopers, but uh, still a big fan of Chewbacca and all the Jedi powers, so pretty interested to see what it's going to be like to play with one of the sides. Now the controls I noticed are pretty, pretty easy, you know, it's not too complex or anything, but I think my five-year-old might have some issues playing this game, it's kind of st strategy, not just going around lightsabers and shooting stuff. Now I noticed I was able to get what looks like a stormtrooper, but it's not a stormtrooper, so I'm pretty happy with the way they set it up. Now with my Jedi, I thought I would have more blocking ability, but I guess because it's the beginning of the game, he has just healing powers. It's pretty self-explanatory, point and shoot, or, you know, point and heal. Yeah, you can't beat that for a mobile version. We used to get in trouble playing computer games at school, and they looked nothing like this. Again, loading is not as long as it was with the PlayStation or cartridges. You had to try to clean them and put them in there. There's Jabba Jabba. Of course, you get your daily rewards and purchasing items. I had thought this would have been more of a fighting game and not a strategy game, but it did pretty good. Again, follow at Model B Rabbit Gamer, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Subscribe, like, share, all that jazz. It's pretty easy right now, but you know, it's not Stormtroopers or Darth Vader yet, so we'll see how it goes on later. That guy's a beast. No bullets needed, just electricity, whatever they use. Must be a Tesla inspired weapon. Now here we're fighting the boss, which is pretty easy, but if you don't take out his little henchman, you're going to be in trouble because that's where he gets healed from and revived. Now I have the same capability with my Jedi, so it's pretty fun, it's not too hard. But again, it's just the mobile version, so. I know there's Star Wars games out there for it. PS4 and Xbox One are just mind blowing. But you can't beat this. I've been a fan since I was younger. I 
wasn't around for the original Star Wars, but I still watched them. There we go, his dude's gone. So now it's just time to take up Big Boss. Still learning controls. I should have saved that for more people. All in all, it's a pretty good game. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I like it. Again, you have to be a Star Wars fan to really be into this. If you're not into the whole Star Wars, you won't like it. Keep gaming. Have fun.